What is Pi Kappa Lambda? Honor Society Foundation, a trusted authority in the Honor Society space, will walk you through exactly what Pi Kappa Lambda is. Now, what are the requirements to be a part of Pi Kappa Lambda? Seniors have to be in the upper one-fifth of their class, and juniors have to be in the upper tenth of their class. Graduate students must have maintained A's in at least two-thirds of their graduate course studies, and faculty members may be elected to membership. What is the history of Pi Kappa Lambda? The aim of Pi Kappa Lambda is to steer the student towards the highest level of achievement academically, community service-wise, and within their own peer group, especially within the field of music, as this is a musical honor society. A lot of people in the music industry felt that an honor society was needed, and so in 1916, Northwestern was the first to establish a Pi Kappa Lambda chapter. Now, people in the music industry knew that they needed an honor society, so in 1916, a couple of professors at Northwestern got together and made a proposal, and by 1918, they had a charter for the state of Illinois. So Pi Kappa Lambda was born in Illinois, but it quickly spread across the country. So what are the key benefits of being a member of Pi Kappa Lambda, you may ask? Now, the primary objective of Pi Kappa Lambda is to recognize the highest achievements in music and scholarship. The society feels that by recognizing people who have been diligent and hardworking in their musical studies, they will encourage other people within their field to do the same. And so, this is not only a society that recognizes people who are already excellent, but to encourage others to become excellent if they are not already. So based on the information that we just discussed, we have our review ready for you. Our first observation about Pi Kappa Lambda is that this is one of the first musical honor societies, I believe the first musical honor society to ever exist, and that makes it stand apart from a lot of other honor societies and very prominent in its field. Our second observation on Pi Kappa Lambda is that I could not find too much information about the society. It's very, very minimal, the information that they do give on their website. And it seems like once you become a member, then you gain access to a lot of the information. So if you're on their website and you're scrolling and you can't find too much information, don't worry. It seems like they withhold a lot of information up front um, for whatever reasons, whether they want to just provide that to members, etc. Um, and then once you are actually a member, it seems like they disperse all that information. Our third observation is that juniors and seniors have differing GPA levels that they need to maintain. So if you're a junior, you have to be in the upper 10th of your class, and if you're a senior, you have to be in the upper 5th percent of your class. So it seems like membership almost gets harder as you go. So if you're a junior, it's less people that you're competing with, and when you're a senior, you're really competing against the top 5% of your class. So there is a discrepancy there, but that is all we have time for today. So thank you so much for joining me, and please stay tuned for more Honor Society reviews.